Hello and welcome to my new video. Now today we start our new chapter that is unit 4 of M3 for RGPV University. So its chapter is numerical solution of differential equation. Before that we learn about the interpolation and the method how to solve these interpolation. Now in this First, what is differential equation? A uh, equation contains derivative is called differential equation. You all know like if e what is equation? If you call about the equation x square plus y square plus 3x plus y plus z equation with, with 2, 3, 4, more than 4 any variables. So, in equation there are two types of variable dependent and independent variable. Dependent variable means the depend on the other variable. Independent, they haven't depend. For example, y is equal to 4x square plus 3. So, if I put x equal to 0, y become 4 times 0 plus 3. So, it's 3. So, at x equal to 0, y become 3. So, y is depend on the x. If x is 1, then variable y also change. So, in this equation, y is dependent, x is independent variable. So, move further, the equation with, which consists the derivatives. Derivative means dy by dx, d2y by dx square, d3y by dx cube like that. So, that is called the differential equation. Now, the numerical solution of these differential equations. Ordinary differential equations solved by many methods you already learned in previous my session, previous videos. Now we solve with numerical methods. So the differential equation is satisfied the given initial and the boundary condition consists in finding the values of y1, y2, y3 of the dependent variable corresponding values of x1. For x1 our new variable is y1. For x2 is y2, x3 is y3 of independent variable. There are many methods for solving this. So, there are many numerical methods. So, we start the very basic method that is called Picard's method. So, what is this Picard's method? Let's think. Let dy by dx is fxy is our very basic uh, equation where y x0 is y0. So, at x0 the value of dependent variable y is called y0. So, if for this equation we integrate both the side with respect to x. When we integrate with respect to x, integrating limit boundary conditions are from x0 to higher limit is x dy by dx dx equal to x0 to x fxy dx. So, dx dx cancel dy is y. So, and the at function this y x. So, y x is y minus y x 0. y x 0 is y 0. So, minus y 0 is go this side. I write down there. When we integrate this, see, integrate this is x 0 to x dy gives y from x 0 so, it's yx minus y0. yx we can say y minus y0 goes other side become y0. So, this equation become y is equal to y0 plus x0 to x fxy dx. Clear? So, from this part onward, for this Picard method, we use the iteration method. We find one value, put in the next value that use that value in the next equation, next integration. Then what is coming for next and next and next. So go on this iteration repeat process will give the final solution. So here we note that required y unknowns occur in the both side of the equation. So, this such type of equation is called an integral equation. This is called an integral equation. So, we assume that y0 is an initial approximation. My first approximation is y0. So, first approximation for y0 I will write 
first approximation is y0 plus x0 to x f x at the place of y i put y0 dx clear now when i integrate this function with respect to x i will get first iteration first value so move on for second iteration so for second iteration let's see from here y2 for y2 say y0 x0 to x f x y1 dx means what comes here we use in my second iteration we use that value for the function for my second iteration so this process repeats for y3 third iteration we use this value so y0 plus x0 x f x y2 dx clear and so on so what is my last iteration y for y3 it's y2 so for y n it's y0 plus x0 to x f x y m minus 1th iteration dx this equation is called the picard iteration formula general iteration formula if we put n is equal to 1 2 3 4 we have to find the substitute iteration 1 2 3 4 5 so let's see with one example how we can use this to finding to solve this type of integration equation so this basic method is only useful when this integrand is easily integrable if the function is easily integrable we can use this picard method otherwise if it can't be easily integrable then we we move for some another method for solution so let's see how we will use example is apply the picard method find the value of y at x equal to 0.1 0.2 0.3 and given that our function is dy by dx is y minus x Initial value y zero is given at two means at x equal to zero y gives two clear so what is my Picard iteration formula is this general formula y n is equal to y zero plus x zero to x f x y n minus one d x where my f x y is given here this y minus x and y zero is two so let's proceed with the step one by one so my first iteration y1 is y0 2 plus 0 because the initial value x0 is this is x0 y0 at x0 so x0 is 0 to x next y minus x so y is y0 so we can say 2 minus x dx clear so it becomes 2 plus integrate 2 dx so 2 dx is x so x minus integration of x is x square by 2 so x square by 2 when we apply the upper limit and lower limit so lower limit is 0 for this 2x upper limit x minus 0 so only the upper limit so my first iteration is y1 gives by this in next for second iteration i use this as my y yes so y2 y2 is given by y0 is 2 plus 0 to x y minus x my y is this so 2 plus 2x minus x square by 2 this is y minus x x dx now we have to integrate it when we integrate it our y is let's write here 
second integration y2 is given by 2 plus 2x plus x square by factorial 2 minus x cube by factorial 3. Clear? Move on further. Similarly, for follow the pattern y3 third iteration is given by you check for third iteration our y is this. So y minus x and you have to integrate each term with respect to x. Then we will get this third iteration is x square by factorial 2 minus x cube by factorial 3 plus x4 by factorial 4 minus plus minus plus. Next is fourth iteration y4. 2 plus 2x plus x square by factorial 2 minus x cube by factorial 3 x4 by factorial 4 minus x5 by factorial 5 and so on. So these are the iteration we have to find with substituting the first value y2 substitute in y3, y3's value is substituted in y4, then y4's value substitute and so on. So this is my formula. We go till the fourth iteration now finding the values of y at x equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So now for this we have to use this formula for finding values of y. So what is my x? x is equal to 0 0.1. So when I put x equal to 0 0.1, y at 0 0.1 becomes 2 plus 2 times 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 whole square by factorial 2 minus 0 0.1 whole cube by factorial 3 plus 0 0.1 whole 4 by factorial 4 minus 0 0.1 whole 5 by factorial 3. Five. So here they give uh, apply the Picard method for till fourth iteration and find the values. Here they give till fifth iteration, till sixth iteration. So you have to calculate till that value, and then for the last iteration, you have to substitute value of x and corresponding finding the value of y. When you solve our value of y at 0 0.1 is gives by 2.2052 at y 0 0.2 is 2.4214 and y 0 0.3 given by 2.6498 at the place of x you substitute 0 0.2 this value at the place of x substitute 0 0.3 we get this value so that's the Example how do we use this Picard uh, integration solution. So this very basic example about the Picard method. So for Picard method that is the only true for the integral uh, function is easily integrable. If it's not easily integrable, we can't use this method because for the lengthy and long integration process, we have to each and every time we have to integrate. So for easy integrable function, we can use this method only. Otherwise, this method will be go free. That's all for this video. Thank you very much.